Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Joe V. Hill in for John Huck. A CCSD teacher tells Fox 5 she and several other teachers in the district received checks and says they will be asked to pay that money back. Fox 5's Mike Allen joins us now to explain. Mike. Yeah, that's right, Joe. That teacher from CCSD said that she and several others this morning received a deposit for $1,000 for a Title I stipend. And they say they actually didn't qualify for it, so the district is asking for that money back. But the organization behind me is saying they won't let that happen. It's causing me severe anxiety. After Clark County School District accidentally paid hundreds of teachers $1,000 each, those teachers are now scrambling to figure out how to pay that money back. One who agreed to speak with me on the condition of anonymity already spent the money. That night I got paid, I started paying bills. I'm trying to get out of debt. That teacher says the $1,000 deposit came in Wednesday and it wasn't until Friday morning that the district told her it was a mistake. It's really unfortunate if somebody took that money, used it for something they needed, and now they have to suddenly pay it back. That's, that's really difficult. Vicki Crydell and John Velardita, who lead the two largest education unions in Southern Nevada, both say the district will ask the teachers to pay that money back. In anticipation of this, Velardita is taking action. We have filed a complaint against what the school district has done because under labor law, it's inappropriate for them to do what they're going to do. He says no teacher should have to pay back anything. We're going to make sure that no educator has any harm come to them as a result of the um, negligence on the part of the school district. That would come as a small miracle for this teacher, who, after paying down her debts with that money, is not sure what to do. This thousand dollars, I don't know where it's going to come from. I'm, I'm literally stressing out about it. Now, I reached out several times throughout the day to the district to find out a, how many of these deposits were sent to teachers, and B, whether or not the district will be asking for that money back. I was told by a district spokesperson that they would get back to me with a comment, but as of tonight, I have not heard back. Reporting live tonight, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. All right, Mike, thanks. And credit out tells Fox 5 this year may have been the case of outdated Title I sheets after 47 schools lost their Title I status. A Title I school receives extra funding if 60% of its students are considered at risk or low income.